What if the most advanced telescope ever built has just forced scientists to question everything they thought they knew about the universe? What if the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's great eye on the cosmos, has looked so far, so deep, that it may have seen something no model of physics can yet explain? At a quiet press room in Maryland, a group of astronomers gathered around a single image, an image that would shake cosmology to its core. The Webb telescope, after months of scanning the oldest light in existence, had detected signals that should not exist. These weren't just ancient galaxies, they were impossibly bright impossibly massive and impossibly early, appearing hundreds of millions of years before the universe was supposed to be capable of making them. To understand how shocking that is, imagine searching for the baby pictures of your child and instead finding a full-grown adult staring back at you. That's what scientists are now facing. According to our best cosmological models, the early universe, the period shortly after the Big Bang, was dark, cold, and empty. For nearly a hundred million years, no stars had yet formed. There were no galaxies, no light, only clouds of hydrogen and helium slowly cooling after the initial explosion. Astronomers call this era the Cosmic Dark Age. Then, in the darkness, gravity began its quiet work. Invisible dark matter gathered into clumps, pulling gas along with it. These were supposed to be the first seeds of light, the earliest stars forming hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. That's the story we've told for decades. But Webb's new images have rewritten that story completely. Deep within a region of the sky so distant that light has taken more than 13 billion years to reach us, Webb found nine strange sources of light. Six of them lie at a redshift of 17, and three others at an extraordinary redshift of 25, so distant that they appear as they were when the universe was less than 200 million years old. If those numbers hold true, they don't just extend the edge of the observable cosmos, they destroy the timeline that cosmology is built upon. At that age, there should have been nothing to see. No galaxies, no stars, only darkness. Yet here they are, brilliant, compact, and ancient beyond reason. Dr. Pablo Perez Gonzalez and his team at the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid, who first detected the light sources, described them as the deepest observations ever made by a factor of several. And they came with a warning. If these objects are real, our understanding of cosmic history must change. The shock isn't just that galaxies appeared early. It's how big they are. Some of these early structures rival our own Milky Way in mass, galaxies that should have taken billions of years to form, existing only a few hundred million years after time itself began. Oxford cosmologist Catherine Blundell explained it this way, It's as if you looked back to see the first sparks of civilization and instead found entire cities already glowing. But Webb's discoveries go even further. Not all of the newly found lights behave like galaxies. Some don't emit light the way stars do. They shine steadily, evenly, with energy signatures that don't match anything known. Astronomers are calling them mysterious light sources, and no one can say yet what they are. One bold explanation comes from a growing number of researchers who suspect these could be primordial black holes, objects formed not from collapsing stars, but directly from the dense matter of the newborn universe itself. If that's true, the implications are enormous. These black holes would be older than the first galaxies, older than any star, perhaps even older than the light we call the afterglow of the Big Bang. They might be the missing engines that helped build the first galaxies, or as some theorists suggest, 
the very seeds of the cosmos itself. Andrea Ferrara of the Scuola Normale Superiore in Pisa puts it simply, if stars cannot explain this light, then something else must be, and that something may be primordial black holes. Others take it further still. Stephen Hawking once speculated that such black holes could serve as gateways to other universes, portals through which energy and information might escape the boundaries of our own. If that wild idea holds any truth, then those faint red points at the edge of time may be more than remnants of our own beginning. They could be windows into entirely different realities. But Webb's discoveries didn't stop there. As it continued scanning, astronomers began noticing strange compact objects, nicknamed Little Red Dots. At first, they were dismissed as small, distant galaxies, but follow-up observations shattered that assumption. These dots didn't behave like galaxies at all. They were something entirely new. A daring theory now suggests they might be black hole stars, a short-lived phenomenon predicted to exist only in the infancy of the universe. Picture a colossal star collapsing under its own gravity, but instead of dying, the black hole forms inside it while the outer layers continue to shine. For a brief moment, you have a star powered by a black hole at its core, burning with unimaginable intensity before collapsing completely. If Webb is truly seeing these black hole stars, then we are witnessing a stage of cosmic evolution that no telescope has ever glimpsed before. And the strangeness doesn't end there. Recently, researchers studying Webb's data found signs that the universe's expansion may be slowing down. If this trend holds, it could one day reverse, leading to a catastrophic collapse, what scientists call the Big Crunch. Even before Webb, the universe's rate of expansion, the Hubble constant, was already a source of controversy. Different measurements produced conflicting answers, suggesting that space itself may not be expanding uniformly. Now, some analyses hint that certain regions of the cosmos might be moving differently than others, perhaps due to invisible structures or even a hidden spin embedded in space-time itself. A universe that spins. A cosmos not expanding smoothly, but swirling like a vast cosmic vortex. If such a rotation exists, it would overturn more than 100 years of assumptions and open the door to one of the most astonishing possibilities ever proposed. That our entire universe could exist inside a black hole. This idea, once dismissed as fringe, has found renewed attention. In this model, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion from nothing, but the moment matter and energy crossed an event horizon in another universe, creating our own from the inside out. That means the boundary of our universe, what we think of as the edge of space-time, could actually be the surface of a colossal black hole existing in a larger reality we cannot yet see. It's a theory that blurs the line between cosmology and philosophy, between science and something deeper. If that's true, every galaxy, every star, every planet, and every one of us exists within a cosmic sphere of curved space-time, the glowing interior of an event horizon, whose exterior may be another universe entirely. The James Webb Space Telescope wasn't built to find answers to such profound questions. It was built to look back in time, to capture the first light after the Big Bang. Yet with every discovery, Webb seems to be revealing something far more complex, that the universe may be older, stranger, and far more interconnected than we ever dared to imagine. For scientists, this realization is both thrilling and deeply unsettling. It means that the standard model of cosmology, the one that has guided physics for nearly a century, may no longer be enough. 
the equations that once described everything from the birth of atoms to the death of stars might need rewriting. Some researchers now speak openly about the possibility that the universe is eternal, cycling through infinite phases of expansion and collapse, or existing as one bubble among countless others in a vast multiverse. If so, then Webb's latest observations are not just showing us the past, they are hinting at something beyond time itself. Each red dot of light captured by Webb's mirrors could be more than a distant galaxy. It could be evidence that reality itself is layered, recursive, and endless. And perhaps, somewhere beyond the cosmic horizon, other universes are watching us back. The James Webb Space Telescope has taken us farther than any instrument before it, but the farther it looks, the more it challenges what we thought we knew. Every answer leads to new mysteries. Every glimpse of the beginning raises deeper questions about the end. What if the universe has no true beginning? What if time itself is a loop and we are just one turn of an eternal spiral? These are no longer questions for science fiction. They are the very puzzles facing the brightest minds of our generation. The same minds that once believed the cosmos could be neatly explained by a single explosion 13.8 billion years ago. Now, confronted with Webb's haunting images, they are beginning to whisper something different, that we may have only scratched the surface of an infinite truth. As the telescope continues its silent watch, orbiting a million miles from home, it reminds us of a humbling reality, that the closer we come to understanding the universe, the more the universe reminds us how little we truly know. Because, perhaps, in the end, the most terrifying discovery of all